everyone, I'm Allie. I often find amazing clasps that I don't want to feature in the back of my neck because you're not going to see them. In this video, I'm going to give you some ideas how to make a fancy clasp the front of your necklace and have some interchangeable options while you're doing so. So I have two beautiful clasp garden push clasps here. One is a single strand and one is a multi-strand. I'm gonna be showing how I go through the design process, thinking about these as the front of my piece rather than the back of my piece. In the back of my piece, I will need another class because I'm not going to feature it as a front piece that you can spin around. It is going to be a pendant. And then in the back of the other, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use a pre-made bracelet to work as an extender chain for the design of the piece. I have some very simple beading materials close by, some crimp tubes, some beading cable. I have 49 strand in the 0 0.018 inch size, as well as you're gonna need a needle nose pliers or a flat nose pliers. I'm gonna be doing flat crimps, a wire cutters as well. And then to hang some things down, we're gonna have some head pins as well as round nose pliers to make our loops. I have a gathered amount of materials to make some things that are interchangeable, including a uh, tassel, pearls that I'll use on both pieces, creating one silver and gold, some bead caps, some extra crystals to add in as well. So go ahead and gather up some materials, some beautiful clasps and the materials that match, and I'll show you how to make these clasps the center of attention while having removable and changeable pieces. So as I'm creating and doing the first example, I wanted to show you how I started the design. I took a piece of my beading cable and I attached it with a single flat crimp, putting on the crimp bead, putting the wire through, back through the crimp bead, attaching right to this chain. The chain that I'm using actually is a bracelet chain. So it is a eight and a half inch bracelet with the lobster clasp. When I get down to the bottom or the front of my piece, there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm making a longer piece, more of an opera length, so I want that bead to kind of sit down. If you want to go straight across and you want that bead to sit, straight across on the necklace, maybe for something a little bit shorter, you can string straight, straight through the loop on the side of the clasp. We're not stringing through the tongue. We're gonna take that out because that is optional to put on or off for your necklace to get different looks. So you can string straight across. Instead, what I'm gonna do is at the bottom of my wire, I'm going to use two seed beads in a row. Right now, I'm just using one 11 seed bead in the Duracoat Galvanized Gold, along with some three millimeter crystal AB rounds, and just doing literally every other seed bead, crystal seed bead. Down towards the front here, I'm gonna do two seed beads onto my wire. Then I'm going to put on one of my crystals. I'm gonna put on my clasp to make it hang the way that I want it to. And then I'm gonna take my wire back up through that same crystal. So I'm gonna take the thread, or take the wire rather, back up through. And hopefully these designs inspire you and give you a couple ideas for maybe using some things for gifts that you have in your stash. So if it does and you have some ideas, go ahead and post them in the comments below. So see how this now sits in a drop version rather than straight across. From here, I'm gonna repeat that same design idea. So I'm gonna pick up two seed beads crystal and then go back to my one-on-one. -on -one. When I get to the side here, I'm gonna make a loop for the lobster to attach, and then I'll show you how this can be used as an extender chain to make it smaller or shorter and why I chose this ending. When I get to the other side of my necklace here, and I know it's hard to see because they're crystal, I'm ending with my crystal just like I did on the other side. And because I have a loop here, I'm gonna take my crimp tube, I'm gonna let it drop down next to my end, I'm gonna grab a wire guard. You can just use the wire itself. You don't have to use the wire guard if you don't have it. You can use a little seed bead loop, but I'm trying to keep this pretty narrow and I'll show you why. You can also use a soldered ring if you have that as well. So I'm using the wire guard going down the wire guard just to get kind of that finished end, going through my crimp tube, taking that crimp tube back through a couple beads or the wire back through the couple beads in addition to the crimp tube, and then pulling that wire out. You can see I cut myself way too much wire. So pushing the 
beads down, I want to keep my crimp tube down, and I'm going to pull my wire into that wire guard. Just give it a little pinch there at the end and pull the wire. From here, I'm like I said, I'm just going to do a flat crimp. If you want to do a crimp cover, you can certainly do that as well, but just a flat crimp to hold it in. Grab your wire cutters and cut that extra wire. Now, here's the cool part with a chain on the back. If I want to, I can keep this at the length that I have it. So looking in the length that I have it here, you're going to see that it goes down and has more of that upper length. But it's actually going to end right there. If I want to, what I can do now is take this necklace, take this off, and now I can make an extension because I have this other side of the clasp. So on the other side of the clasp, I am going to take my uh, little tassel here. Some days I feel like I want a tassel, some days I don't, so it's nice that it's removable. I'm gonna take my tassel, and you can use beading wire, you can use um, any sort of stringing material, and we're gonna attach it to the little tongue of the clasp. What this is gonna do then is allow me, if I want to wear it, you hear that nice click, I can put this on, or if I don't wanna wear it that day, I can take it off. So that's gonna give you options. We're gonna do the same thing with the three strand clasp as well. And all I'm gonna do here is use a little bit of my wire, and I'm gonna do that same kind of crystal look design. So attaching the tassel to the tongue, all I did was go through one of my crystals, add an 11, go through the top of my tassel, add an 11, back up through the crystal, and then I put on a crimp tube. The crimp tube is big enough, the two by two gold one here, that I can put four strands through it. So what that means is both strands can go through the clasp here, both strands can sit then back through that same crimp tube, so I don't need as many crimp tubes or as much showing when it comes to that. I'm gonna do it fairly tight along that clasp because I don't wanna see a ton of the extra wire. Once I have that down tight and I have that centered and I like the look of it, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a flat crimp as well. This now gives me the option on my clasp as a pendant to include this as a piece of it that I click that on and I have that tassel hanging down or if I'm not feeling the tassel that day, just take it off. We're gonna do the same thing with our three strand as well. What I wanted to show you along the back is here, if you are feeling like it's a little bit too long having all that chain, what you can do is when you have the extender chain or you have that chain already in the side of the clasp, you can link it to another link as well. What that's going to do is just have that chain hang down a little bit in the back of the design and then you're shortening up that necklace design. You want it a lot shorter, once again, just take that piece of chain out, attach to the beginning of the chain, and then again, you have that just hanging down the back, which if you want to, you can put a little, uh, a little hanging there, a little charm there, that way it hangs down the back of the dress if you have it exposed on a dress. So this gives you the option to make it shorter or longer, depending on if you want to hook into a different place on the bracelet after already attaching to that clasp. So a fun little idea for design one. And now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing, but what happens when you have a multi-strand clasp working with this and this beautiful flourish clasp. So as I'm finishing up my design here, and you can see I did a really simple pattern on this beautiful clasp as well. Just having another clasp garden clasp in the back, doing a pearl with my gunmetal pretty little bead cap. So these are super tiny. They are four millimeter bead cap, and I like how they give just that vintage look that the clasp really offers in that silver beautifulness and then some ovals. And just using those same crystals like we did in the gold with the bead caps around the six millimeter pearl. So this can be my necklace. I attached right to the outer loops of the necklace. Now there's a third loop in there because it's a three strand. Some people will go ahead and take a wire cutter, cut that third loop off if you're not making it. You can take a round nose pliers or a needle nose, bend it back. I'm just gonna let it because by the time I see that filigree along the front, I don't notice it when I'm looking at it. And then years later, if I decide, oh, I wanna cut this necklace apart, I wanna make it something else, those loops are still there. From here, what I'm gonna do is do the accent again where I'm using that tongue. So I have my little head pins here in my two inch gunmetal. 
and I'm putting on a tiny bead cap. I'm going to put on top of that one of my crystal pear drops here. I'll do another, we'll keep with that vintagey look, I'll do another bead cap right there above. I'll do it both above and below, those tiny little bead caps, putting a pearl on to pull that pearl design. So you're going to think about it that it's hanging down from here. Do I like that design? What else do I want? I'm going to add another little cap. And because I have the option to take it on and off, I will go a little bit longer and add a crystal at the top here. So this is going to connect to the tongue, which again is an option then to take on and off when you're looking at it. I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and just leaving a little bit of distance, turn to the side, grab my round nose pliers to make a loop going over the top. And if you need help for that, I have plenty of videos how to do these coiled eye pins. Once I have that loop, I'm going to go into the middle loop of my bottom portion of my clasp here and just put that through. And then if you need to, you can sometimes bend it open a little bit and get that link in there into that setting. Once you pop that into there, you can see I'm just putting it right into that center loop then. Once you have that in there, often I'll hold with my round nose pliers because it's not competing for as much space. And I'm just taking that extra little wire and coiling once around the top, cutting off the extra wire here, covering with my hands so the wire doesn't fly up and hit you. And then going in with that needle nose pliers again and just bending down that extra wire and pulling that off. Not only will I do this now to the center of the design, but I'm also going to put just a crystal drop on either of the exterior loops as well to give it more of that downward look and that downward V section. Once you finish the design elements of using that clasp as a top, you can see how cool they look to either keep that element on as the drop or take that clasp that you used in the front and actually take that little tongue out and have the option to have that be replaceable. Some of them also, we do carry the extra tongues if you would want to go ahead and get those. I love that you can keep it simple, that you can keep it simple at the office, dress it up for dinner that night and have the options to hang on the bottom or take off to really make the necklace your own. Again, there's so many beautiful clasps. I love using them in the front of the design and using them in this fun, interchangeable manner. Thanks so much for joining me. I just wanted to show what the necklace looked like on and then if I decide that I don't want it to be as fancy for the day, I just simply take off that little extension and I have my own little necklace here. So on off, same with my little tassel one here. I can put the tassel on or I can just take that off and just wear it as that nice bald opera length necklace for the day, deciding which way I wanna wear it. Remember, put some of your helpful little hints and tricks down in the comments to help out the rest of the Potomac Beaters that may be watching and enjoying these videos. As always, thanks so much for joining. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to create some projects, maybe with things you already have at home and some of those beautiful clasps that you've been cherishing and not wanting to use, you'll use them in this front design as well. If you need any materials, don't forget you can look at the bottom of this video in the description to get links to shop with us online.